Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is for the sign of Virgo. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So it's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you leave the rest of it aside, especially for this type of reading. It is a channeled reading with your loved ones. Um, so you must be of the sign to um, to be able to receive some of the messages if you want to make sure that you get some for you. Um, that being said, if you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. I would also like to mention I am going to do the same thing that I have been doing. Oh, I've done it a few times already. Um, so if you already are a subscriber, you would like me to channel a message up, please do so. Let's keep it, you have to keep it, you know, somewhat brief though, because I do have a lot of messages to channel up. Um, with your name or the nickname that they know you by and the name of the loved one you would like me to send it out to. Also, if you are not a subscriber, please do subscribe to the channel and then write into the comment area the message that you would like me to send out and it will be my great pleasure to uh, do that for you with much love. So um, I'm going to give you the messages that are channeled that are here and at the very ending I am going to give you the channeled messages that passed by. Uh, hopefully there will be something for you. I am learning over here. I had to leave that way. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. Um, you have nothing to feel guilty about. Let's begin with I am learning over here. I've always loved to learn and sometimes I thought that I knew it all. But now that I'm beyond the three-dimensional physical world, I am astounded to be learning how everything really works in this beautiful and perfect universe. Even now, I can't completely comprehend all of God's plan. But I do see the bigger picture, and it is just amazing. You and I are so much more than we ever dreamed of. The only thing that I can share with you is how important it is to appreciate and to honor yourself and everything else in life. You and I, like everyone, are God's sacred creations, which means that we honor God when we honor ourselves and each other. And I definitely honor you. I had to leave that way. Please don't relive my death in your mind as from my perspective it was very different from how you imagine. To me it was like a dream that culminated in a very happy ending. And yes I was so sad to leave you, our loved ones and our life together but I have to be honest and say that I am truly happy here. My soul is so enriched by all that I'm learning and I am still able to be with you and to help you. I'm finally free of all earthly suffering, which allows me to love you even more than before. My life plan was designed with divine wisdom, and that included the timing and the way in which I exited. It is the same with your life and everyone else's. It's exciting to finally know these truths and to share them with you. Please know that I am truly sorry that the mode of my passing brought pain to you. And yet, everything happened exactly as it was supposed to happen. You couldn't have stopped it or changed anything. There was no other way. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to any guilt. As souls, we do not feel physical death. I remember that within the blink of an eye, I was outside of my body, looking down at it. I immediately felt an intense sense of happiness and peace. It was indescribable, yet I wanted to tell everyone. I was also able to see your thoughts that you created and carried with you in your mind. We are pure 
energy vibrations of light. Please know that your thoughts of guilt and worry, they block our light. They don't serve either of us well, and they create unnecessary debris. You must know that I am happy, and that a soul can never be harmed. You have nothing to feel guilty about. I see you torturing yourself with the what-if questions concerning my life, my health, my passing. You wonder whether you could have intervened so that I'd still be in my physical body. I am standing next to you, right now, to soothe away these thoughts. It is so important for you to understand that you did nothing wrong, that my physical passing was divinely timed, and that you couldn't have changed anything. Please don't burden yourself with guilt any longer. Guilt is a complete waste of your earthly time, which is meant to be used in service of love. Guilt doesn't undo anything. I have forgiven myself for everything that I think I did or didn't do, but in the end, I learned that everything's already forgiven, and I pray that you also forgive yourself because you are so very loved and so understood. As for messages that are coming passed on by, uh, I have to say that over here, when I was giving this message out over here, I am learning over here. I have a Jackson who wants to tell his mom and his dad that uh, he's watching over you guys and he, he, he just, he's having a ball. That's what I'm getting. He's just, he's having a great time and he misses you. He misses you guys, but he's, he's enjoying watching you guys. He's enjoying it. Makes him happy. Makes him feel happy. Um, other than that, I have to say that I have, a I have, a, a mom and a dad who want to tell their daughter that they know that she feels really, really alone right now. I don't believe that she, I don't think she, she's not in a relationship or anything. Um, and, um, and parents passed away, uh, a father maybe about a year and a half ago, a mother maybe a few months ago, and she's feeling really, really, well, really alone right now. And uh, they want you to know that they know that you're feeling alone sometimes and that they are always there with you all the time. I also have a message here coming from, um, this is somebody who in life was, it's a man, somebody who in life, it's a father. He's sending, he's doing this to his son and to his daughter. They m both must be between 30 and 40 years old. And he was a, quite a trickster when he, I, I'm gathering, he was quite a jokester when he was um, alive. And um, anyways, he's playing around with lights and he's doing all different kind of things that he thinks is just hilarious. And um, <laughs> Anyways, he wants you. He wants you to know that it's him, and that he, you know, he he loves you guys so much. Uh, and this is him. He just wants to let you know that he's there and he's watching over you guys. Um, there's somebody who um, who passed away. This person it seems to be a woman, and she passed away in the hospital. She was there for quite some time. I think she was in some uh, like a transition home hospital or something, and she. Um, she had Alzheimer's and um, her her two sons and her daughter were always going to visit her every, oh, at least every week anyways. And uh, the daughters came more often. I think they had more time. And they want, uh, she wants to say how much she... Uh, she realizes that you were there. She she couldn't tell you at the time being she wasn't, but she was at the same time. She now sees it and she recognizes it and she wants to tell you how much she appreciates that. Um, every day, even though she never really remembered, you went back and, you, you know, you went back two, three times a week, um, every week. And she loves you guys so much. She appreciates everything. She knows how hard it was. Um... This is all I have for right now. Um, wait, wait. I have, um, I have a Judith. I have a Peter. 
and have a have a Jose. They want to say they love you for whoever that goes out to. Um, so this does conclude this reading. Um, if you do have any questions, please do contact me. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe if you do want to send out a channeled message to your loved ones. Don't forget your name or your nickname, the name of your loved ones, and um, it will be my great pleasure to do that. I wish you a fantastic day. I thank you for being there. Much love. I'll see you soon.